Hey. Hey travelers, it's LSD 789 with another video. I want to show you how you can get this Crimson Guard outfit. Uh, you get it from the Red Prince in the Awakened King DLC. Um, I'll link a video in the description how to get this true Crimson Crown, but uh, to get the outfit, you need to have three of these coins. The Crimson uh, King coin. I'll show you how you can get these coins. You need to fight an elite enemy in this dungeon three times, and that's how to get the three coins. And once you have these coins, you actually need to uh, equip a different outfit because the prince is going to be mad if you uh, have this outfit on. So you just unequip the outfit, and then go in the room with the three coins. Enter, mortal. Lives such as yours are too short to stand on hesitancy. Know that you stand in the presence of the Divine, Lord of all that surrounds you, and true-born heir to the one true King's throne. You may not be of the Fae, yet you reap the benefits of this kingdom with every breath. Know, strange one, that these lands and their people draw their life from my own. And shall do so eternally. For none have stood against me and lived. It is my hallowed duty to rule and watch over my subjects. Just as it is the duty of my subjects to serve. Now that we share this understanding, I will accept your tribute as one who serves. And then, yeah, you want to give the coins to the prince and offer tribute. Ah, yes. A tithe worthy of your divine master. It is the law of the Fae that I give you this in return. And by my law, foreigner, I also give you this. Uh, yes, he actually kills you if you offer tribute. But uh, this is just the first part to get the outfit, so now uh, you help the prince and give him tribute. See, the coins are gone, and you get this uh, bloody steel splinter. This is for the weapon mods. Uh, let me see. Uh, for this weapon mod, the blood draw weapon mod you get, but uh, I'll see you at the the palace of the of the one true king, and that's where we need to go for the next part to get the outfit. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. So once you make it to the palace of the one true king, uh, you need to go to the chamber of the faithless. It's right here, and uh, we need to actually get rid of the king and kill him. So let's go talk to him. Or a wayward child in need of suckling. Tell me, who dares, who dares disturb the one true king's solitude? Speak, or lose your tongue. A mouse scratching at the foot of a god and king. You would be dead already were your feeble delusions of grandeur not faintly amusing. This will be your one and only warning. 
to show your king due respect. I shall not repeat myself, nor suffer fools. I have killed insects like you for less. My packs are adorned with such humorists. Putrid, disgusting, traitorous mortals! Two options, two paths. Such is your crossroads. If you wish to live, prove your loyalty by slaying the duplicitous lesser goddess Numue. Or raise your pathetic hand against me and your mortal suffering ends here and now. Which will it be? So be it! Make your peace, filthy mortal! An ill-gotten crown. That you would appear before me equipped as such speaks to insolence beyond the likes of even the savage Fae! Such insolence comes at a price. Death and agony, rot and decay. That is all your puny future holds now, mortal. Come, I shall not sully my throne with your unworthy blood. Yeah. <laughs> 
And so after you kill the one true king, this uh, throne will be empty. And what you need to do is you need to exit the dungeon and come back. And I'll see you uh, when that happens. Hi. And so once you exit the dungeon and you come back, there's a surprise here. And yeah, you can talk with him. stand in the presence of the Red King, Lord of this domain, and Supreme Sovereign of the Fae. Of all my subjects, you rise above, a champion amidst peasantry. Your assistance in my ascension is recognized and rewarded. Take this, and forever be known in these hallowed halls as a holy knight of the Red King. Stay with you then. I have my kingdom. Yeah, and there you go. That's the whole Crimson Guard set. And I will link a video in the description how to get this true Crimson Crown. But yeah, basically you need to have this outfit and then kill the king with the Assassin's Dagger, the melee weapon. And that's how to get the Crown of the Red Prince. And then you can combine these two to make it the true crimson crown Good yeah this how to get the outfit hope you guys like the video if you have any questions write them in the comments and yeah lsd 789 Hello. out